welcome to this Blender tutorial. In uh, this tutorial, we're going to discuss uh, <coughs> the uh, bend deformer or modifier under simple deform. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this, uh, I really didn't know enough about it, as as I've said in uh, my <coughs> previous Blender tutorials that that I am still learning Blender. Um, I've been digging into Blender probably I think a month now on and off and uh, in uh, my tire tutorial uh, a question was asked about the uh, bend uh, modifier uh, which is uh, under simple to form uh, that somebody had uh, created a cube and uh, the bend wasn't working correctly for them. So I started digging into it a little bit to see what I could figure out. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and jump into that. I've got a cube here and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it in the X direction. Um, for some reason the uh, this bend deformer only works uh, like you would expect it to if your object is laying across the X axis uh, hopefully in later versions maybe one of the developers can uh, maybe change that to where it'll uh, you can choose the axis. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and add some loop cuts here. Okay, and now let's go to simple deform and let's choose bend. Okay, as you can see, that uh, you, you've got some weird things going on here and in order to fix that um, I'm going to tab back into uh, object mode and then I'm going to go down here on the menu and I'm going to go up to apply and I'm going to apply rotation and scale and now as you can see um, let's tab back into uh, the edit mode here. Now as you can see it's uh, bending as you would expect it to. Uh, you also have this cage here that you can see if you need to turn that off uh, you can go under here under the uh, apply modifier to editing cage during edit mode. So if you just click that it hides that. Uh, now you can actually grab components on the cage and tweak those so let's control Z that and uh, let's see here let's go into uh, the top view and as you can see this little orange dot here in the middle is our the origin for our object if I select all the vertices and move move my object or my cage here um, that bend is based on where the origin of your object is so I don't really know how to explain that too well as I said uh, I'm just getting into uh, blender pretty heavy and still have a lot of learning to do. Uh, another thing I want to show you is uh, let's control Z now. Let's take away this modifier and let's uh, select everything and scale it again in the Z. Okay. Um, what I want to do, I'm going back to top view and orthographic view, go to uh, 
<clears throat> wireframe here and I'm just gonna select uh, this group of vertices here I'm gonna go I believe it's control G and assign to group okay um, what we've just done is uh, assign these selected vertices to a group. Uh, let's see, where do I groups? And we're going to click the plus sign here. Uh, nope, that ain't it. Add to group. How do I do that? I don't remember how to. Uh, name the groups. Let's go to simple to form and go to bend and click on groups and we'll just click group here. And now the deformer will only be added or be applied to the group that we've selected. I'm still learning about groups and as I learn more about it I will definitely uh, do more video tutorials on that. But anyway, <coughs> uh, now the uh, the bend deformer is only being applied to that uh, specific group. Uh, let's see here. Let's add a loop in here. And let's add another one along here. So anyway, you can uh, work on uh, this cage here and affect Your, whatever you're bending here. Not sure what I'm saying. I still have a lot to learn about this. But anyway, uh, that's about the best I can do. Uh, and uh, for the uh, person who asked that question, I hope this this helps you out. And I hope that in later versions that uh, maybe maybe the that def the bend deformer can be uh, uh, tweaked or changed a little bit to work a little more like you would expect it. I would like to have it, let's say if I had a cube and uh, I was going to uh, bend it around the y-axis while it's standing up uh, in the Z, uh, it would work on that axis. <clears throat> but anyway, I uh, appreciate you watching and I hope this helps. Have a great day.